Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Back with some NECA blind bags. These are very large blind bags. I got two of the gamer blind bags and one of the pop culture blind bag. NECA went all out on this packaging too. It's, it's very loud packaging. You got a lot going on. It says here over $25 worth of toys and collectibles. It says that on all of them. But I'm going to move two of these off and we will get started. And I am going to open all three of these. Here's the gamer one. There's the front, the back. The back has up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. That is actually the old Contra code for 30 lives. I think it was in some other Konami games as well. Let's crack this open, see what we get in here. All right. First item is some buttons. Team Fortress 2. I don't even know what that is, but... Yeah, these buttons aren't bad. Pretty cool. Oh, I actually like that one. Next thing is a Mega Man lanyard, and that's actually really cool. I will actually put my keys on that and use that. And our next thing is a Loot Gaming collectible pin. Right offhand, I can't tell if this sword is from something. Not 100% sure. I don't recognize it right off the bat anyways. It's actually a pretty cool pin. You know, I do put pins on my work vest. And I would actually put this on it and probably will. Next item is something weird. What is this? Blood ice pack set. So I do use ice packs as well. And these are pretty cool ice packs. So again, something I'll definitely use. So these will be going in the freezer. That was actually the last item in the first bag. Now we will do the pop culture bag. There's the front of it. The back. But let's crack this one open. See what we got. Loot anime exclusive embroidered patch. So I guess it's actually in here. Not a show I've ever watched or anything, but here are the patches that came in it. I absolutely do not recognize either of these. All right, our next thing would be a Fred Flintstone. This is like a salt and pepper shaker. Kind of weird. Not really something I see myself using in my kitchen, but it is what it is. All these items are like Loot Crate items. If I'm not mistaken, NECA did buy Loot Crate. So in my head, I imagine a warehouse full of random Loot Crate junk sitting around. And NECA became the owner of that said warehouse and had to do something with said junk. And this is the baby that made. I don't mind though, it really is worth the $10. Now of course, if you get Fred, you gotta have Barney. I've saw a lot of weird salt and pepper shakers in my day, but I think this takes the cake. That is just strange. If I'm being real honest, I don't like them. Next, we have a, another loot pin. This one says squad. I don't have a squad. I don't want a squad. And I don't want this pin. Some sort of box here. Okay, now this one's pretty cool here. This is Kid Robot Adult Swim Final Mini Series 2. There are some of the characters you can get. I really like to have that Space Ghost. Not sure what that one is, but it's rare, so I'd like to have it. Samurai Jack. Ah, oh, Robot Chicken, that would be so cool to get. God, I hope I have the Robot Chicken. Let's see who we got here. And we got the nerd. That's fine with me. I consider myself to be somewhat of a nerd, so I can relate. And the nerd was the last item in that one, which leaves us one last gaming bag to open. Bust that seal and see what we got. And we get the same pin set, and everything in this bag is going to be the same as the other one. What are the odds? Boo! Oh well, so we doubled up on some stuff. But there are the items we got from the NECA Gamer blind bag and the NECA Pop Culture blind bag. Sucks that I got two of the same bags. Can't imagine what the odds of that happening are. But if it was going to happen, it would happen to me. Oh well, I'll end up giving it to someone anyway. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. That total bullshit that you got both the same bags. I know. Sucks to be you.